Hello, this is Martin Harler, CTO of Equidato Technologies. I'd like to welcome you today to the first of a series of clips demonstrating the Sophia TX platform, its features and the use cases of the platform. The video today is a demo of the peer-to-peer -peer document transfer. In our case, we are sending the invoice from one company to the other via blockchain. It is secure and has a guaranteed provable delivery mechanism. It adds business benefits by providing the information directly in SAP without the need for a staff member to input the information themselves. For the demonstration, we have set up two SAP Business One systems, one for the vendor and one for the customer. Now I'll pass you over to Natalie who will run the demo for you and add the final word. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Natalie and I'm a certified SAP Business One consultant. I will guide you through today's demonstration of sending an AR invoice via the blockchain using SAP Business One. So in order to start the process, we will create a purchase order. We pick the item which we want to order. Take a couple of iPhones and we can add the document. As soon as we send the purchase over, purchase order over to our supplier. What is important to notice is the PO number. That is our main reference in any communication coming from our supplier to us. So in our case we have now PO number 19 and we move over to our supplier system. In here he will start his sales process with the creation of a sales order. And we've ordered 10 iPhones, which we will add. As just mentioned before, the main information which is relevant is our PO number. That is the reference, and we need to make sure we have that information set in our documents. So along the process, there will be a purchase goods receipt, there will be a delivery note on the sales side and at some point in time our supplier will send us the AR invoice. To skip all the steps in between we go straight away from the sales order into the invoice, copy the document over, we have all the information available including our PO number. So as our supplier he will add the AR invoice. And once the document is added, the system will pass on all the details over to the blockchain. As you can see down in the system messages, the data is sent to the blockchain and the Sophia blockchain viewer will show us a few more details. We have the time it was sent, the block number, the sender, the receiver, and within data we see all the, rel the relevant information that's been passed on including the transaction ID, which will be seen on the receiver side later on, and the encrypted data, combination of a couple of letters, numbers, and readable to anyone, but that basically is the content of our AR invoice we just created. So we will move over to our customer side. So We've received something, as you can see up here, um, an alert popped up that tells the information came in via Sophia TX. And if I go down to the Sophia blockchain viewer, I can see second line, that's the second information or data I've received today, a couple of test lines before. And you see it's, it came in just a few seconds ago. That's the block number, if you remember, which was shown on our supplier AR invoice side. The sender, the receiver information, and you can see here again, the whole set of encrypted data the supplier sent over to us. So to show some more details, we have the Sophia TX menu under STX invoice confirmation. We can see now the latest that came in. As you can see, all the details, my PO reference number, 
number 19 again. It shows me all details like my, uh, my vendor, my document number, and we can see the iPhone which I ordered, the 10 pieces. So we can accept the invoice, we update it, and we are ready to go. So invoice will be created on our side. There is more information, more functionality to come, but for the time being it was important for us to be able to show you that information can be passed on via the blockchain. So summarizing everything, the blockchain provides a secure mechanism, it is transparent, it is provable, and the transfer is pretty fast, it provides a large leap in the evolution of e-invoicing. The scenario is applicable for many more business documents across blockchain, like purchase orders, timesheets, quality inspection reports, delivery notification, and much more. So thanks a lot for watching this video, and we look forward to presenting in the next episode. Goodbye.